asking the time. What time do you have? It's ten o'clock sharp. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. What's the time? It's almost eight. Do you have the exact time? Yes, it's two minutes to eight. Excuse me, what time is it? It's a quarter of two. I guess my watch is slow then. Well, I know mine isn't fast. What time is it right now? It's a 5:25. I've got 5:35. You're ten minutes fast then. Do you have the correct time? Yes, it's two minutes to three. Are you sure your watch is right? It may be a few minutes slow. What time is it now? I don't have my watch on right now. Is there a clock around here? There's one in the next room. Do you have the right time? I was just going to ask you the same question. My watch has stopped. I forgot to wear mine. Do you have any idea of the time? I don't know exactly, but it's after nine. It was nine o'clock when I got here. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. At what time is the meeting? Eight o'clock. Be there at eight o'clock sharp, then. I'll try to get there before eight. How often does this station give the news? Every hour on the hour. When do they announce the weather? Ten minutes to and ten minutes after the hour. Going by the clock. When is your first class? At ten after nine. When do you get back here? Then. About ten to twelve. Alice will be back in ten or fifteen minutes. How long has she been out of the office? She's been out since ten o'clock. Then she's been out for an hour or more. I got to the cafeteria around noon. I was there, but I didn't see you. I think I left a few minutes after twelve. I must have just missed you then. Our friends will meet us here. Will they come here right after lunch? No, they won't be here until three o'clock. Then I'll come a little before three. Let's call Mary. Let's not call her right now. Maybe this is a bad time to call. Let's wait until seven or seven thirty. Arriving early or late? I'm afraid we're going to be late. How much time is there left? We've got around thirty or forty minutes. That should be plenty of time. Who are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my friend Betty. What are you looking angry for? Because she's twenty minutes late already. Aren't we going to be late for the meeting? No, I think we'll be on time. Well, I want to be there in time to get a good seat. The meeting doesn't start for another twenty minutes. Isn't Harry here yet? Here he comes now. Eight forty-five. Late as usual. Well, we can still get to school on time. Are we late or not? No. In fact, we're early according to my watch. Hadn't we better go inside? All right, but we're really about a half an hour early. Time in the calendar. When does February have twenty-nine days? In leap year. How often is there a leap year? Every fourth year. How many days are there in leap year? There are three hundred and sixty-six. How many weeks are there in a year? There are fifty-two weeks a year. What are the seasons in this country? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. How months are there in a season? There are three months in each season. Today is the first day of spring. I didn't realize it. Aren't you glad it's here? I'm always glad when winter is over. The weather is perfect today, isn't it? Yes, I like this season of the year very much. Most people like this season best of all, don't they? Well, I'm sure a lot of people do. Expressions of time. Were you at home last night? No, but I was at home the night before last. Will you be at home tomorrow night? No, but I'll be at home the next night. Didn't your friends leave the week before last? Right, they left just two weeks ago. Will they get back next week? Yes, according to them, they'll arrive a week from today. Did Mary get back last week? Yes, she got back on Thursday. How long was she away? She was out of town for ten days. When did George arrive in town? He flew in last Thursday afternoon. John has been here since last Thursday too. Both of them plan to leave the day after tomorrow. How long have you been here? I've been here for two months. How often do you get here? I get to this city about twice a year. Dates and periods of time. How long have you worked in this office? I've worked here since March. How long ago did you finish school? 
I finished school three years ago. Didn't you study English in school? Yes, but that was many years ago. How many years ago was it? At least six or seven. Didn't your friends arrive here in the fall? Yes, they did. They got here in October. Do you know the exact date they arrived? I do. They got back on October 11th. Have you been living here very long? I've only been here since last spring. Are you going to stay until Christmas? No, I'll probably leave for France in a month or two. I worked on my report until midnight last night. Do you expect to finish the work by tomorrow night? Well, I certainly can't finish it before that time. You'd better get someone to help you for a few hours today then. Pastimes and hobbies. Hey, do you remember the good old days when we used to spend hours playing board games? Oh, absolutely. Those were the times. We would gather every weekend and lose track of time. And how about those summer vacations? We used to go camping and explore the wilderness. Yes, I miss those adventures. We would wake up early and hike all day long. Remember when we used to collect stamps? We would spend hours organizing and admiring our collections. Oh, I still have mine tucked away somewhere. It was such a relaxing hobby. And what about our love for photography? We would take pictures of everything and cherish the memories. True. We had those old film cameras and had to wait to see the developed photos. It was exciting. I can't forget the days we spent learning to play musical instruments. The practice sessions were intense but rewarding. Yes, it took time and dedication, but the joy of playing our favorite tunes was worth every minute. Speaking of time, do you remember when we used to gather every Friday evening for movie marathons? Of course. We would binge watch our favorite films until the early hours of the morning. And what about our shared love for reading? We would exchange books and discuss them for hours. Definitely. We devoured novels, immersing ourselves in different worlds and characters. Time really flew back then. We were so passionate about our hobbies and had endless enthusiasm. Absolutely. It's nice to reminisce and remember those cherished moments. They will always hold a special place in our hearts. Vacation time. How much vacation time do you get? Only two weeks this year, but three weeks next year. We get four weeks a year after five years of service. I may take an extra week without pay this year. Where do you plan to go for your vacation? I'm going to Paris. When will you be back? Probably in three or four weeks. Are you going to take your vacation in June or July? You are going to take it in July. Are you going to go to Europe? No, I'm going to go to South America. Did you have a good vacation? Yes, I did. I had a wonderful time. What did you do? I visited some old friends in Florida. You haven't been around for a long time. I've been away on a vacation. Everyone's been asking for you. It's nice to be missed. Tips and sightseeing. Did you have a nice time over the weekend? I had lots of fun. What did you do? I did a lot of sightseeing. How long were you out of town? I was away for two weeks. When were you away? I took the time off in August. How did you go to India last month? We went by plane. What kind of plane did you take? It was a jet. Have you ever been to Italy? No, I've never been there. Have you ever been to France? Yes, I was there last summer. Did you parents stay in Rome for very long? Yes, they stayed there for two months. Did they describe their trip to you? Yes, and they showed us a lot of photographs. Vacation adventures. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? Have you thought about your next vacation yet? Hi, Mark. I'm good, thanks. Yes, I've been daydreaming about it a lot lately. I definitely need a break. How about you? Absolutely. I could use a getaway too. Any ideas where you want to go? Well, I've always wanted to visit Greece. How about you? Any particular destination on your mind? Greece sounds amazing. I've been longing to explore Japan. The rich history, vibrant culture, and delicious food make it an intriguing destination for me. Oh, Japan sounds incredible. I've heard so much about it. We should definitely share our experiences afterward. That's a great idea. It would be fun to exchange travel stories. By the way, do you prefer traveling alone or with company? 
I enjoy both, to be honest. Traveling alone gives me the freedom to explore at my own pace and immerse myself in new experiences. I totally agree. Sometimes, solo travel allows for self discovery and stepping out of our comfort zones. Absolutely. Do you have any memorable vacation experiences that stand out for you? Oh, there are a few. One of the best was when I went hiking in the Swiss Alps, that was unforgettable. What about you? Well, my best memory was when I went snorkeling in the Maldives. This was absolutely surreal. Wow, that sounds like a dream. I've always wanted to visit the Maldives. It's definitely on my bucket list. It's worth it, Mark. The Maldives is a true paradise. I'm sure you'd love it there. I'll definitely keep that in mind. So, when are we starting the planning for our next vacations? Let's do it. We'll exchange ideas and create the best itineraries. I can't wait to embark on our adventures together. Me neither, Sarah. It's going to be an amazing journey. Let's make it happen. Absolutely, Mark. Let the travel planning begin. Hello, Peter. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? I'm great. Hey, where are you going to go on summer vacation? I'm going to visit my grandparents in Florida. How are you going to get there? I'm going to take a plane and rent a car at the airport. What are you going to do there? I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to visit some museums and I'm going to relax there. Who are you going to go with? I'm going to go alone this time. How long are you going to stay there? I'm going to stay for two weeks. Sounds interesting. Well, I have to go now. See you later. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Listen twice and repeat. Hello, Peter. How you doing? Hello, Peter. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? I'm great. Hey, where are you going to go on summer vacation? I'm great. Hey, where are you going to go on summer vacation? I'm going to visit my grandparents in Florida. I'm going to visit my grandparents in Florida. How are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? I'm going to take a plane and rent a car at the airport. I'm going to take a plane and rent a car at the airport. What are you going to do there? What are you going to do there? I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to visit some museums and I'm going to relax there. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to visit some museums and I'm going to relax there. Who are you going to go with? Who are you going to go with? I'm going to go alone this time. I'm going to go alone this time. How long are you going to stay there? How long are you going to stay there? I'm going to stay for two weeks. I'm going to stay for two weeks. Sounds interesting. Well, I have to go now. See you later. Sounds interesting. Well, I have to go now. See you later.
It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. It was nice talking to you. Goodbye. Thanks. Pre boarding announcement. Good afternoon, passengers. This is the pre boarding announcement for Flight 1436 to New York. We are now inviting those passengers with small children, and any passengers requiring special assistance, to begin boarding at this time. Please have your boarding pass and identification ready. Regular boarding will begin in approximately 10 minutes time. Thank you. Final boarding announcement. This is the final boarding call for passengers Catherine and Michael Collins booked on flight 1436 to New York. Please proceed to gate 7 immediately. The final checks are being completed and the captain will order for the doors of the aircraft to close in approximately 5 minutes time. I repeat, this is the final boarding call for Catherine and Michael Collins. Thank you. Pre-flight announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board flight 1436 with service from Santiago to New York. We are currently third in line for takeoff and are expected to be in the air in approximately 7 minutes time. We ask that you please fasten your seat belts at this time and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead compartments. We also ask that your seats and table trays are in the upright position for takeoff. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and cell phones. Smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for choosing JetBlue Airlines. Enjoy your flight. Captain's Announcement Good afternoon passengers. This is your captain speaking. First I'd like to welcome everyone on JetBlue Flight 1436. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 34,000 feet at an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 1.25 p.m. The weather looks good and with the tailwind on our side we are expecting to land in New York approximately 15 minutes ahead of schedule. The weather in New York is clear and sunny, with a high of 25 degrees for this afternoon. If the weather cooperates we should get a great view of the city as we descend. The cabin crew will be coming around in about 20 minutes time to offer you a light snack and beverage, and the in-flight movie will begin shortly after that. I'll talk to you again before we reach our destination. Until then, sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the flight. Safety Briefing Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the crew I ask that you please direct your attention to the monitors above as we review the emergency procedures. There are six emergency exits on this aircraft. Take a minute to locate the exit closest to you. Note that the nearest exit may be behind you. Count the number of rows to this exit. Should the cabin experience sudden pressure loss, stay calm and listen for instructions from the cabin crew. Oxygen masks will drop down from above your seat. Place the mask over your mouth and nose, like this. Pull the strap to tighten it. If you are traveling with children, make sure that your own mask is on first before helping your children. In the unlikely event of an emergency landing and evacuation, leave your carry-on items behind. Life rafts are located below your seats and emergency lighting will lead you to your closest exit and slide. We ask that you make sure that all carry-on luggage is stowed away safely during the flight. While we wait for takeoff, please take a moment to review the safety data card in the seat pocket in front of you. The weather. Is it raining now? Yes, it is. It's raining very hard. Does it rain very much in this area? Yes. It rains a lot in spring and fall. How is the weather? It's raining outside now. Is it raining very hard? No, it isn't. It's just sprinkling. What's the weather like outside? I think it's going to rain. It was nice a few hours ago. It was beautiful, wasn't it? How was the weather today? It's quite cold and damp. How are the winters here in general? They're usually rather mild. Is it raining outside now? Yes, it is and it's quite cold. I think I'll stay home today. I certainly wish I could too. Talking about the weather. It was hot yesterday. But it's quite cool today. Yes, I'm wearing sweater under my coat. I'm going to put on a jacket. It's freezing today. It's worse than yesterday. How cold is it? It's 10 below. What cold weather this is. It certainly is. What's the temperature? It's five above. You've seen a hurricane, haven't you? Once, a long time ago. Does it ever snow in your country? 
Only a few times a year. Do you like the weather in this part of the country? Not really, but I'm adjusted to it now. Is the weather different in your country? Yes. It never gets as cold there as it does here. Weather and adventure. Good morning. What a beautiful day it is today, isn't it? Absolutely. The sun is shining brightly, and there's a gentle breeze in the air. I couldn't agree more. It's so refreshing to have a break from the sweltering heat we had last week. Oh, yeah. It was unbearable. But this mild temperature is ideal for outdoor activities. Definitely. I'm planning to go for a hike later. The clear sky makes it even more enticing. That sounds amazing. The scenery must be breathtaking with the sunlight filtering through the trees. I'm really looking forward to it. How about you? Any plans for the day? Well, I thought I'd take advantage of the pleasant weather and have a picnic with my friends in the park. That sounds lovely. Don't forget to bring sunscreen. The sun can still be strong even on cooler days. You're right. Sun protection is essential. I'll make sure to pack some sunscreen and hats. Great idea. Safety first. By the way, have you noticed the flowers blooming everywhere? It's like a colorful carpet all around. Absolutely. The vibrant colors of spring are truly a sight to behold. It's like nature is celebrating the good weather, too. I couldn't have said it better. And the birds chirping in the trees add a delightful soundtrack to the day. It's such a cheerful symphony. I love waking up to the sound of birdsong. It instantly puts me in a good mood. Me too. It's a gentle reminder that life is full of simple pleasures, like enjoying a beautiful day. Absolutely. Speaking of which, I heard the weather forecast for the rest of the week is supposed to be just as pleasant. That's fantastic news. It means we can continue to enjoy outdoor activities and soak up the sunshine. Definitely. I'm planning to go cycling and maybe even have a barbecue with my family. Sounds like a perfect weekend plan. Just be mindful of any sudden weather changes. It's always good to be prepared. You're right. Weather can be unpredictable at times. I'll keep an eye on the forecast and be ready for any changes. Wise decision. It's better to be safe than sorry. But let's focus on the present and enjoy this amazing weather today. Absolutely. Let's make the most of it and create beautiful memories under the sun. That's the spirit. I hope you have a fantastic picnic, and I'll have a great time hiking. We'll reconvene later and share our experiences. Sounds like a plan. Can't wait to hear about your hiking adventure. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. I will. Take care as well, and let's catch up soon. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your day and take in all the beauty around you. See you later. Please like and subscribe.